Greetings, hacksters! Today is the day we unbox the new Nordic Thingy 53. It is a multi-protocol IoT prototyping platform that fits in your pocket or a package and runs on its own LiPo battery. Let's open it up. Woo! It's even smaller than the box! They've got this extra little module in here. It's a current measurement and debug board for the Thingy 53. Nice little extra. Then you've got your device and this little info booklet, which has a link to the Getting Started page, as does the box. So Nordic have taken their current flagship dual-core wireless SoC, the NRF5340, and packed on a BLE radio, NFC antenna, two buttons, that programmable RGB LED, plus a full complement of sensors, including an environmental sensor for temperature, humidity, air quality, and air pressure, a color and light sensor, and a low power accelerometer in IMU. Behind this little protective door, we've got a micro SD card slot, a power switch, USB C, and more. And it's backed up by two new apps that will make developing for the Thingy 53 even easier, including edge impulse integration and updating the device's firmware from your phone. Now let's back up a bit and take a look at each piece. This little guy is tailor made for running machine learning models on device. Its dual ARM Cortex M33 processors can both collect data and run trained models without supporting hardware. You'll still need to train the models separately though, but that's standard. The Bluetooth Low Energy Radio supports proprietary 2.4 GHz protocols as well as Zigbee and Thread, which enables you to develop products for the new Matter smart home ecosystem focused around security, reliability, and ease of use. Now let's check out those apps. Edge Impulse is a rising star in embedded machine learning. The NRF Edge Impulse app lets you harness those smarts for your embedded products. And NRF Programmer, the new Nordic phone app, empowers you to update the device's firmware without a computer. Don't forget to check out the Getting Started part of the website, which has all you need to set up your Thingy53. That's a lot of oomph for a small package. Check out the links in the description below, and as always, hack on!